Sa Toronto, inilunsad ng Calamansi Collective Kamakailan ang Not Today Tita Collection nito. Alamin ang kwento sa likod ng koleksyon sa report ni Teresa Ridula. Oy, tumaba ka. Oy, kailang ka mag-ikakasal. May boyfriend ka na, may girlfriend ka na ba? Oh, so that thing is like, it's too much for us sometimes. So not today, Tita. Inilunsad ng grupong Kalamansi Collective sa Toronto. Ang kanilang bagong disenyo na hango sa karanasang pamilyar daw sa maraming Pilipino. On the front, nasa, nakasabi, not today, Tita. Makikita mong magandang font. And then, sa likod naman, sabi, don't let your Tita ruin your mental health. And then inside, pag kailangan mong umiyak, sa inside, it says, my mental health matters. Gamit ang matalim na pahayag, layo nilang ipaalala sa mga kababayan. Maigi ring protektahan ang kanilang mental health sa mga batikos na mula mismo sa mga miyembro ng pamilya. If there's a tita hovering around, they know that they're sitting upright, talking in a nicer way because they're trying to impress. And that's been instilled in our minds ever since we've grown up. It's like, you know, don't talk back to your tita. Show respect to your tita. Show respect to your tito. Uh, Like, sit up and talk properly when you're talking to your, your, your family members. Mahalaga rin kay Pangilina na talakayi ng mental health sa sariling paraan. Lalo't personal din niyang hinarap ito kamakailan. My cousin um, lost her battle through uh, of a mental health illness. And so for us, it means the world to us to be able to give back to her or pay some kind of tribute to her. Sa bagong poll na inilabas ng Canadian Alliance on Mental Illness and Mental Health, kung bibigyan ng grado ang Canadian government sa mental health services, hindi sila pasado ayon sa mahigit 3,000 respondents ng survey. Pinagbasihan ng mga rumesponding Canadians ang apat na kategorya sa survey. Karamihan sa kanila, naniniwala ang kailangan ng napapanahong access sa publicly funded mental health care services. At dapat daw dagdagan ng gobyerno ang mental health providers. In Canada, we've kind of gotten rid of the stigma about mental health, but it still needs to be worked on in the Philippines. And so when the newcomers are here and Filipinos who are born here, They understand that mental health matters here. Yung mga batikos, may natanggap ka ba? Parang na-offend about the not today. Yeah, meron naman. Pero for me, I'm okay to listen to criticism. I'm okay to learn from that. Not everyone's gonna love what you put out. But also, not everyone's gonna hate what you're gonna put out. We're saying titas because that is commonly known where the issue starts from. And then, who knows? We'll come out with a kuya line, we'll come with an ate line, we'll come out with a ninang, ninong, tito, ah... Uh, Lola, Lola sabi te, like so many, like we never know. So yeah. Bahagi ng pondo mula sa mga naibenta ay mapupunta sa therapy grants at sa The Blossom Fund, isang registered non-profit group na sumusuporta sa mental health ng Asian Canadians. When we want to talk about whether we're losing weight, we're getting married, or we have a girlfriend or boyfriend, we'll talk about it. And titas, just wait. Just wait for us to tell you. Don't intrude. Don't invade. It's time for you guys to take a step back and listen instead of try to find out from yourselves. Teresa Redula, Omni News, Toronto.